Well, this is a pretty big little storage locker area. Why am I at a storage locker? Well, we got a project that we're doing in the van today. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, it's getting harder to get up in this old age. Joseph. Joseph. Joseph? Joseph. Anybody seen Joseph? Have you seen Joseph? Joseph. 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 Joseph? I can't find Joseph. And I need him for a project that we're doing today. Hey, look. Is that Joseph? Is that your feet, Joseph? Joseph, are you there? Right here, man. <laughs> Our dear friend Joseph is going to be sewing me up some curtains for the front of the van. Because if you've seen in a video the other day when we redid my ceiling, um, it wrecked my old curtain rod situation. So Mr. Joseph stood up and said, hey, let's, uh, let's sew you some new ones. So what we're using here is this is just a standard blackout curtain that I bought from a, a, just a box store out here called uh, Yisk or J-Y-S-K, whatever you want to call it. And uh, you can buy these things at like Walmart or anywhere else. So this is 55 inches by 96 inches. And he's going to cut this one blackout curtain down so it fits my van. Anyway, let's go. I am old, man. Two inches on the roof. Just the roof measurement. Yeah, 52 by 71 where I'm at, 72. Here's the new curtain rack that we've got. Curtain rack, curtain rod, curtain hanger, whatever you want to call it. Um, last time I just used like a shower curtain and uh, now we got a nice little track mounted up here. John said these are about $20. You can get them from like pretty much any RV store and then a bag of these little these little hooks and then yeah the curtain just slides and gets put away and um yeah it just looks a lot more streamlined and slick especially on the new roof and then john gave me an idea on how to hang my curtain right here these are little chain links you can buy them in little packages from home depot so we're just gonna like crimp the ends on them and hang them on the new curtain and alica boom we got something hanging let's hope anyway <laughs> he's like, oh yeah, he's doing that low. Cruz likes to hump the help. Yeah. <laughs> Stop humping the help, okay, buddy? Okay? We're gonna have nobody to sew us things if you keep humping them. What's going on? <laughs> I didn't. I didn't wake up for this stuff. Hey. Eh? <laughs> He's like, yeah, dog hair on the curtain right from the beginning. The sewing machines in today's video are powered by the Jackery Explorer 240. It's got a 240 watt inverter in it and just enough power to power both of his sewing machines. He loves this thing. This one is the Explorer 500. It's got a 500 watt pure sine wave inverter and they even have a larger one than that depending on the power needs that you guys have. I'm a huge fan of Jackery and I've been standing behind them now for over two years. They have never once failed me. If you guys are interested in any of their products, all the links to that stuff are in the description of this video. Look at this work. This looks so good, Joseph. I'm a total professional here. Look at that. All made by this guy. And the funny <laughs> part about this whole thing is, is that sewing machine is plugged into the Jackery. All that plugged into this thing. <laughs> Super awesome. Yeah, I love it, man. I can still van life and sew at the same time. Okay, that one's done. Look at this stuff. Look at those nice little sewing lines Joseph did. It is so awesome to have a friend with a skill like this one. And then there's Joseph putting holes in Andy's nice pretty van build. What are you doing, Joseph? 
You uh, putting holes in the wood, Joseph? Joseph, there's a hole right there. You see the hole right there? You did that. Sorry, man. I'm trying to get him in trouble here, but in, in reality, these little pieces here that uh, were curved to hold on. He's not even, he's not, he's just hammering at this point. <laughs> so those little curved bracket pieces are the ones that kept my cooler in place from being moving around. So Andy's gonna be building other brackets to go around my fridge uh, once we get that in place. So what he's done here is he's actually just taken like partially the contour of the wall in my van. So that way when the curtain goes up, we're gonna be putting snaps down this side so we can snap them in right along here with all the snaps that we already have in place for the bug screens. So once this hook comes out here, I can bring the extra over and go snap, snap. That way it's a bit more of a blackout while I'm here at night and the curtain's not just hanging here with this great big open area. So it's kind of awesome that we have the chance to be able to use the bug screen snaps for my curtain, which is kind of awesome. This is perfect. Yeah. So what Joseph did up on top of here just to keep this curtain shut was he left a little flap open on this one and put Velcro on either side so when this thing shuts push the Velcro together and you have a perfect seal. Look at that little extra space there. This is perfect man. So we originally thought we were going to go with these hooks but they don't look too bad. They don't look bad. But I think you'd have to press them tight shut and stuff like that to hold the curtain. But we had another little idea. Well, was it my idea or was it your perfected my idea? I think he perfected my idea, it was my idea. On the top here where this ends, we're gonna be running them into the snap. So this one will go there, another one will go right there. So Joseph's just going to get a little white pen so we can mark it out on here so we can punch the snap through. Here's what we're gonna try. Taking this off, and using a zap strap. Not sure if it's gonna work, but we'll find out. So that's gonna be the end, so this doesn't come through that, that sliding hole. And we're gonna put this through here. Should turn the camera on when I talk. <laughs> on the other side of the zap strap string, we're gonna be running another one of these over top, just to kind of like, as a bolt sort of, Oh, <laughs> to hold it on. All right, let's see. Snip, snip. Look at that, guys. Black, sleek, holds it to the roof nice and snug, giving it a full, complete blackout. Dude, this looks pretty good, bro. It looks great. I don't know if it works yet, but it looks great. Oh, black little button, look at it. That's nice. Right? Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm stoked. I'm claiming this idea is mine, Joseph. So the key to this is either pliers or just get your teeth in there. You want pliers too? No, my teeth are good. Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> so good. The only time this is gonna be a giant pain in the you know what is when I wanna wash these curtains. <laughs> But if you look at it, for the amount of times that this thing hits the wash, 
it ain't gonna be much to spend like two dollars and more zap straps to pop this thing back up there kind of a waste so it'd be nice if there was a better way Maybe. yeah but you know what it's up there my last curtains i wash probably every two or three months anyway yeah you know what i mean not often and the only reason why i washed them because the dog hair was on the bottom yeah now we're not going to have that problem because this only comes down so far so cruzy bear can wiggle through here and not get his dog here on the curtain so maybe this gross dirty van dweller would just clean his curtains every six months no big deal but for now dude that's perfect hey yeah, yeah. Whose idea was it to do this on a day that's 32 degrees? It wasn't mine, man. It just happened to be there. Uh, <laughs> Sorry I'm putting you through this. It's all good. Man, when we did the butt screen, it was like this. Too. Really? Yeah, we were in Lillooet. Yeah. Oh, hot one. Well, I have this thing. There's like you, you two it. years worth of washes right here. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Here's those up. <laughs> look at this, guys. I have enough zap straps to wash this for like years to come. I just like the look of this. This looks good. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I'm pretty sure like wash it once, won't care. By the third wash, I'm going to be annoyed. Yeah. Right? Well, I'll just think about that then. Right now. Well, using your teeth every time, that'll be annoying. <laughs> What's wrong with my teeth? Dude. I just think it's funny because those are zap straps. Yeah. Thanks, man. That looks really nice. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. <laughs> Compared to my last curtains, these are just like... But I do like the idea of tying this up here. Yeah, we're gonna put a little thing. It'll take two seconds to do. I do dig that one. <laughs> I'm so stoked. All right, how many we got here? One, two, three, four. Okay. So I just counted these and I probably got enough here to wash my curtain <laughs> twice. <laughs> um, how much we pay for these? Uh, $4.75, so it's gonna cost me $2 and whatever the change would be <laughs> for washing my curtains, eh? Hey? Boy, am I ever looking forward to this. Oh, look at these tacos. Oh, heck yeah. Look at that. Mm. You getting in on yours yet? No. Mm. Not yet. Oh my gosh. Six feet, Joseph. Oh. <laughs> hey, how's your taco, Joseph? Pretty good. <clears throat> Pretty good? Yeah. Sweet, thank you, Brian. Thank you, man. Thanking me, I'm thanking you, man. You <laughs> you did all the work today. All I did is stand around and poke the camera in your face. <laughs> anyway, you guys, thanks for watching. Be nice to your neighbors and be nice to yourself. That's the most important thing. So take care of you today. Okay, anything else you wanna add? All right, good enough. Peace out, guys, bye. Are you sure? Right. You got a minute, think of something prolific. Just say. Okay. Have some tacos, they're good. <laughs> <laughs> Joseph's last words <laughs> that's it I'm a simple no, man on the spot he had to come up with something prolific and it was like have tacos okay <laughs>